Hey everyone, this is Afizullah Masoodi and you are watching from Code with Hafiz. I welcome you to the 14th video of this series where we will discuss CSS opacity. So the opacity property specifies the opacity or transparency of an HTML element. Now it can take a value from 0.0, .0 to 1.0. So the lower the value, the more there will be transparency. So to show you an example, let's create an image attack and for the source let's go to images and let's select image uh, forest.jpg and for the alt attribute let's say forest and let's declare some width for it so 170 for the width and let's declare some height for it so for example 100 and to declare some opacity for this one and here we can uh, target the image uh, tag so curly braces and let's declare some opacity so let's say 0 0.5 so if I save this and get back to the browser refresh now you can see the image is having a 0 0.5 opacity so we can create transparent hover effect also and it is often used together with the hover selector to change the opacity on mouse over so to show you an example let's get back to visual studio code and in here we already have uh, the default opacity for the image itself so let's declare uh, the hover uh, selector for the image so let's press enter let's say image colon this should be image colon hover and curly braces and let's make the opacity whenever we mouse over the image uh, 1.0 like this so if i save this now and get back to the browser refresh and now if i mouse over over it you can see its opacity is being changed to 1.0 now we can create a reverse hover effect too so to show you this one uh, instead of image hover opacity 1.0 let's declare this one 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 and for the default uh, opacity let's say 1.0 so if i save this get back to the browser refresh and now if you mouse over over it you can see it is a reverse hover effect so when using the opacity property to add a transparency to the background of an element all of its child elements inherit the same transparency also so this can make the text inside a fully transparent element hard to read so to show you an example let's get back to visual studio code and instead of this image let's create a diff with a, a class of example and inside here let's put some lorem epsom like this and now let's target this diff so I will remove this styling and let's say dot example curly braces and let's declare some background for it so background let's say green and let's declare some opacity for it so if I declare it 1.0 now so if you get back to the browser so now you can see uh, both the text and the diff has the opacity 1 so if we declare for example opacity 0 0.5 and if we save this and refresh the browser now you can see both the text and the diff are getting the opacity so suppose if you give a uh, element 0 0.1 and if i refresh the browser now you can see the text is not even readable so if you do not want to apply opacity to child elements like in this example you can use RGBA color values so to show you an example of this one let's get back to Visual Studio Code and let's remove the opacity now and what I will do is instead of background uh, green let's declare uh, for example RGBA value and for red uh, let's say 0 for green 255 and for blue uh, let's say 0 and uh, for the alpha channel or opacity let's say 0 0.1 so if we get back to the browser now and refresh now you can see we still have uh, the div with the background color of green with the opacity of 0 0.1 but this time you can see the text is not inheriting uh, the opacity of the parent element now let's work on a final example to show you more about opacity so let's get back to visual studio code and let's remove this example and for this div well let's leave the div but for the class let's say background like this and let's create another uh, div inside it so for this one let's also declare a class so let's say trans box and let's create a paragraph 
and let's put the text inside the paragraph like this now in our style stack let's first target the div with the background so div dot background like this and curly braces so in here let's declare a background so let's say background like this and let's declare a url so let's go to images slash and we want to load this clematis dot gpg and we also want to repeat it because it is a small image so we want to take the full width and let's declare a border also for it so to px solid black and now let's de uh, declare some styling for the trans box div so let's say div dot uh, trans box and curly braces and let's declare some margin for it so 30 px and let's declare a background a color so it will be hash triple f and let's declare some border for it so 1px solid black and let's declare some opacity for it so to create a, a classy background so let's say 0 0.6 and after this let's declare some uh, styling for the paragraph so let's say div dot transbox and then we want to style the paragraph so curly braces and let's declare some margin for it 5 person and let's declare some font width for it so bold and let's say color and let's say hash a triple zero now this being done if you get back to the browser now refresh now you can see we have a nice glassy over the background image and the, you can see the text that it is also uh, displaying very well now this being done it was all for this video i hope you enjoyed watching the video and if so don't forget to give the thumbs up and a nice comment also and if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe too if you want more videos like this so thanks for watching see you in the next video